facts don't agree with Trump supporters' feelings. They're not coping well at all. No they are not. My brother-in-law in particular is having a hard time coping. Dude has been even more insufferable since the election. Didn't think it was possible. One of the saddest lessons of history is this, if we've been bamboozled long enough, we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle has captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. Carl Sagan Rule number one of American politics, if the right accuses anyone if anything, there's a 100% chance that they themselves are doing it or are going to do it. Been hearing about the Democrats not accepting the election for years, yet nothing even comes close to the sheer magnitude of this, Trump one, delusion. They're so fucking weak and fragile that their brains don't even allow them to exist in a world where their king is gone. To be fair the liberal left has spent the last four years crying about Trump and trying to get him removed from office, remember that meme of the girl crying up at the sky after Hillary lost? Holy fuck number one cries like the left. I'm not a retarded Trumper either, I just find it funny that the left cried for four straight years, then win and are immediately like, can you believe how they're carrying on, like get over it. TL, Dr. Everyone is upset when their candidate loses and retarded Trumpers are no exception at it, no offense to retards, of course. I don't think anyone cares if Trump supporters like Biden or not. They can yell about him not being the president. But mobbing vote counting centers yelling, stop the count, because he was losing. These centers being evacuated because of bomb threats? A Republican Secretary of State of Georgia saying he and his family are receiving non-stop death threats because he certified the election? Republicans chanting, traitor, to their fellow Republican governor in Arizona for doing his job and certifying the results? States suing other states to throw out votes? The president refusing to concede? People boycotting Fox because they projected the election winner and raging about how the media doesn't get to call the election? You're right the left was never happy about Trump winning but I don't remember them boycotting MSNBC because they dared to project Trump as the winner in 2016. This is a whole new level of psychosis. Big supporter here, went to a rally and everything. I'm good, I'm not crying, not my president, screaming at the sky, threatening to leave the country, cutting off my Democrat family, cutting class to protest, rioting, comparing Biden to Hitler, saying he should die or even trying to get him impeached before he starts. Those are all things my fellow university students did in 2016. I am just going to accept the results and move on. Some people want a recount and whatnot but I think you guys want Trump supporters to be more upset than they are. Probably to save face from 2016. Some people want a recount and whatnot but I think you guys want Trump supporters to be more upset than they are. Dude you are so full of shit rofl. Understatement of the fucking century. By the way, Clinton conceded the day after the election and Biden invited Pence into the White House two days after the election. There is no need to save face. I'm fucking proud millions of women went out and marched to protest after his election, and I don't take responsibility for individuals losing their minds. I don't have a need to pretend there aren't morons that vote the same way I do like the right does. We're commenting on a video of a Trump supporter being exactly as upset as people are accusing you imbeciles of being, and you're going to say even that is a hoax. Holy shit lol. Delusion. Great job, champ. Still enjoying the meltdown of a lot of Trump supporters. Reach out to some of them and make sure they're coping as well as yourself. Take care of each other through this. What happened in 2016 that is in any way comparable to Trump refusing to concede, launching dozens of lawsuits, obstructing Biden's transition team, planning a rally on Inauguration Day, and melting down daily on Twitter? What about every Republican politician towing the line? If you're comparing this to some teenagers who hurt your feelings four years ago then please grow up. Most of the Trump supporters I know aren't throwing big fits either. Neither were the anti-Trump supporters in 2016. I think a lot of people seem to forget that the freakouts on the internet are a small population. I'm not discounting the references you gave, by the way. People like you are just.
normal. Unfortunately loudmouths on the internet tend to push people to the opposite side of what they're supporting because nobody wants to be associated with that. I remember those morons, running around acting like Obama couldn't be American because he was black. Trump was one of those people, and it's fucking pathetic how far he got and how much people worship those idiots. I'm actually, coping, just fine, but you clearly are the more intelligent individual making broad generalizations about millions of people. I hear R. Sino is looking for bright individuals like yourself. Your type of thinking would make a great asset in helping Xi Jinping, re-educate, the Uyghur Muslims in Shenzhen. This is only going to get worse. Tuesday our neighborhood got to witness a man a few houses down get taken out of his house and he's now in a psychiatric facility because of his Facebook posts of pictures of guns and saying he was going to kill himself and his family on January 20th. I have never seen people act so crazy in my life. It's going to be horrible when it finally sets in for the remaining extremists of his. My family still thinks he won the election and that he will be president another four years. And they have the audacity to tell me I'm nuts for thinking otherwise and that I will be crying once I find out that Biden won't be present. It really has me questioning reality at this point. Trump supporters are mostly upset because now they won't have a leader that emboldens them to act however it is they feel like they can act at any given moment. Newsflash, the guy stomping his foot and stating his opinion the loudest for the sake of doing those things isn't always, rarely is it the guy you want to actually listen to. These are the same people who tell transgender people that facts don't care about their feelings. How the turntables, how the turntables, boil. Edit, tell me someone got my Brooklyn 99 reference. Under Trump's watch nearly 300,000 Americans have died due to his own mismanagement and there are 73 million Americans who are still ready to vote for this killer of Americans and love him. But those same 73 million Americans hate Al-Qaeda who killed less than 3,000 Americans. I don't understand their logic. I feel like these people are so detached from reality that even in January after Biden is sworn in and living in the White House, they'll insist that Trump won and it's just a matter of time before the truth comes out and he gets to evict Biden and resume his presidency. That or they'll just insist he's still the real president who now operates outside the White House which is being illegally occupied by the phony president. Facts over feelings, crowd choosing feelings over facts. How amazing. By the way what amazes me is how Americans, especially Trumpers, don't see this as a problem. This is quite literally how faxicum and dictatorship is born. When people blindly follow the president and regurgitate everything they say. Trump has successfully brainwashed 70 million people in this country to be, against the election, against democracy, against the constitution, against freedom, against media. As someone from a country that has suffered from power struggles, this is terrifying but the privileged don't see this. Are all the USA politics like that? I swear always after in elections there are a lot of videos of grown-ass adults behaving like babies, literally crying and screaming like children's. I support Trump, it's over. The idiots might not make up the majority, but they get more attention than the ones that quietly accept the election results, thus making all of us look like fools. I only personally know two Trump supporters, both of them are now former supporters. The first one is a Vietnam vet that stopped supporting him after he abandoned the Kurds and the other guy still supported him but accepted that he lost the election. They don't even want to talk about shit like this because they know how close they came to doing it themselves. Tip, don't get too heated over politics, do research, form your own opinions on what you believe is right and wrong, and vote for the candidate who most suits you. Take wins and losses with grace, and don't be a cunt to those who disagree with you. Thanks for reading. Like can he just accept the fact he lost Jesus Christ maybe if he would have done a good job and not promote killing, racism etc he probably would have won again but instead he was being so bad during his presidency he lost just accept and move on. She doesn't believe in COVID either. This woman is the reason we are shutting down again. Stupid ass people don't listen to anything that doesn't suit their belief system regardless of how ridiculous it is. 
Why do people get so involved and committed to U.S. politics and the president? It's weird, it's like their lives have no meaning without being defined as blue or red. In reality your lives are not really affected by the man that's elected. Just go live and be happy. We're not affected by that man, that's elated. But we elected a child and 300k dead and we're all either stuck at home or in mortal danger when we go out. I'd say our lives were definitely affected by who was elected. I always wanted to dress up as a Klansman and just go around to corners and try to rally support for Trump. Try to make people realize who they share ideals with. I was convinced last minute by family not to do it. I live in a not great part of Atlanta, so the potential for violence was probable. I can't believe how people are acting. People I always considered rational are talking about the Kraken and ghosts and JFK Jr. and all sorts of other crazy stuff and I'm just like, dot wth. Are you okay? Should I call someone? I'm a Trump supporter and when I saw this video on TikTok I thought it was funny. People need to not take things so seriously no matter what you believe or what party you vote for. I think that should completely be treated seriously as it the literal future of our country in the people's hands, votes. I think people need to have a sense of maturity when talking about politics and not go to the point of bluntly hating each other for such beliefs. No, he didn't lose. Trump has exposed the communist left and how they control everything in the country. There might as well not even be elections because no matter what, every inch of this country is hardline communist left and there's overwhelming evidence of this. Trump probably got closer to 600 electoral votes when you take into account the algorithms and the counting machines rigged by Democrats. Democrats are very good at the computer, so of course if you're using the computer to count everything it's gonna come up saying the Democrat won each and every time other than 2016. Trump is just getting started. The funniest thing, as an outside observer to your politics, is you voted in a senile establishment racist as the answer to BLM and socialist movement. I know the American education system is pretty bad, but that's a new low. Centrists disguised as neoliberals keep actual good candidates from winning the DNC elections. The Iowa and New Hampshire caucuses were a shit show, and that's why we have Biden. We got duped. Fuck them both but I'd take the lying peacemaker that is Biden than the Nazi enabling Trump any day my friend. I'll never forget what they did to my boy Andrew Yang. Caucuses are fucked. The electoral college is fucked. It's time for ranked choice voting and simultaneous nationwide party primaries. Since there's no actual definite answer of facts, being called president-elect is actually wrong. You don't become that until January 6th. So when the media says president-elect Biden, it's a false title claim. You're only elect from January 6th to January 20th day of being sworn in. So then to say facts don't agree with Trump supporters is incorrect. The guy trying to explain does a real shitty job to back up his claim of Trump losing and ends with no actual say. I know I'm going to be downvoted because most people on this sub don't like facts and people who know them, but you should be informed. Edit, I said this because most of you don't know shit and don't even bother to look up the actual info. You claim your opinion is fact yet my poop has more substance than your words. You're quibbling over words because you're wrong. Trump lost. Every state has certified their results, every lawsuit has been rejected, and everyone with a teaspoon of brains acknowledges that fact. The GOP is no longer trying to win the election, they're trying to overturn the election. Call Biden president-elect or buttfucking elephant for all I care, but the fact is he won the election. It baffles me that people can't comprehend this. No, Trump has not lost yet. Will he? Well it looks very pretty probable, but the electors have not declared Biden the winner yet. Media does not declare a winner, Reddit. I know most of you haven't grasped basic government function as of yet, so let me use a sports analogy. If the ref hasn't blown the whistle, is the game over? It is false to say Biden is president-elect as of now, despite what the propaganda machines called big tech and legacy media tell you. And on the off chance Trump remains in office? Well, won't you all have egg on your face? And if not, you should all still learn that the cameraman doesn't decide that the game has ended, even if the clock stops. Listen for the whistle now, it's coming soon, but the game hasn't ended.
All right, take the torch to my karma now. It was worth it. Why do you care? All of the votes are in, they've all been counted, and every election has been certified. It's not the media saying Trump lost, it's the damned constitution, and it's beyond fucked up that the GOP is still trying to overturn those results. It's not surprising, because that's why they were desperate to pack the SCOTUS with Trump-friendly justices, but it's still beyond fucked. Can't forget about the undeniable camera footage in places where they literally pulled out cases and cases of ballots in Democrat-winning states and started to fill them out. Now I'm not rooting for Biden nor Trump but that seems quite fishy. Why hasn't the media said anything about that? Now look let's not act purposefully dense, we all know for four long years the left was screaming about Russian meddling in the election and making all kinds of crazy claims. I have my problems with Trump as everyone does, but the very same people that would act like all our problems are magically fixed because Biden will be in office are the ones that cried wolf. Those are the facts, downvote me if you want. Edit, by the way just for the record I don't think there was any fraud back in 2016 or now. The Russians did meddle in the 2016 election. They literally organized protests with false identities. They pulled out the shittiest people in our country and organized them. Into an incoherent, racist mob. Spewing idiotic and hateful shit. On people just trying to fucking live in peace. Fuck your Trump mob. And fuck your mom too. No one fucking wanted Biden. And no one is a communist. Russia did meddle in the election via a disinformation campaign. No smoking gun was found that proves Trump colluded with Russia but they did help him get elected. However, Hillary conceded on election night, didn't attempt to overturn the results with lawsuits and hardly anyone on the left claimed there was outright voter fraud. In fact, it was Trump that claimed there was voter fraud in 2016 when he insisted he only lost the popular vote because of millions of illegals voting. It's night and day how different the losing team acted in 2016 compared to 2020. The left screeched, and intelligence officials ultimately agreed, but they didn't ask their voters if they were ready to die for Hillary Clinton. There's a stark difference in insanity. We all know for four long years the left was screaming about Russian meddling in the election and making all kinds of crazy claims Russian collusion was proven though, Russians were indicted for it. And the Mueller report concluded that Russia absolutely interfered in the 2016 election. It was very quiet on the president's involvement, but the conclusion that Russia did interfere was clear. The Trump investigation resulted in the conviction or indictment of 34 people, almost all of them directly linked to the Trump administration. Today I heard from a decently trustworthy person that there are states suing states which will force the states to decide, based on their state congress and all of those state congresses are Republicans so that is supposed to be a way for Trump to snag the win still. Anyone have any thoughts on that? I'm pretty sure they were talking about the Texas Attorney General's lawsuit to overturn four other states' elections. I know my state's ag is supporting him, but I haven't wasted my time with the details. It's not going to go anywhere. Trump asked Ted Cruz to argue the case if the court will see it. That's exactly the one. I freely admit I don't really know what's going on, as I prefer, news, to be in the past, not projections. I hate projections. That said, when I have X amount of people saying, Trump is doing this, there is no way around it, he already won, and then another group saying, this happened, it can't be undone, he already won, I get irritated. Think I'll just wait for the inauguration. I find it hysterical that the same people who spent four years saying the election was fraudulent and that the Trump supporters don't care about my feelings are the same people behaving like this. Damn America all of y'all is dumb. Hillary conceded the next day and the Russia did violate election law, Trump just wasn't involved in it which we found out through investigation. Russia was sanctioned for it. Meanwhile literally nothing has been shown to substantiate voter fraud outside of some affidavits. Makes you look really stupid to compare the two. If it's over then Kamala should step down from her seat, Obama stepped down from the Senate on November 16 after winning the election, Kamala knows it's a losing battle which is why she has not stepped down. Trump will win with the SCOTUS and massive election fraud will be uncovered. Popcorn time is almost here.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.